Hey guys, Mitchell Gonzalez, The Bearded Realtor here. Hey, have you been thinking about making a move to the Denver area and you're curious about some of the cities in the surrounding area? Well, you're in luck. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about the best neighborhoods to live in in Broomfield, Colorado. So, let's hang out. Hey guys, Mitchell Gonzalez, The Bearded Realtor here. If you've seen one of my videos in the past, welcome back. If this is your first time checking out one of my videos, make sure you click the subscribe button below as I do post weekly videos all about living in or moving to the Denver area. Along with that, I am also a licensed real estate agent in the area. So as much as I love making these videos, I love helping people find their dream homes even more. So with that being said, another week and shockingly enough, there was a miracle. The Broncos won. Yes, it might have been against the uh, Cardinals backup, but our backups were also playing. So, hey, a win's a win. So you'll take it. Um, along with that, it is uh, Christmas time, Christmas week, a little chilly, but not as cold as it's going to be tomorrow where it's supposed to be negative 12 out. That is not normal, but it is a little little brisk, a little chilly today. So, um, both that being said, you know, I'm out here in Broomfield with you guys so you can learn a little bit about the Broomfield area some of my favorite neighborhoods, some of what I consider to be the best neighborhoods in Broomfield. And if you're not familiar with Broomfield, it's a, you know, it's a nice suburban uh, neighborhood and it's, it's a great location because it's close to I-25. Um, if you're looking at something that maybe you have one spouse that's working in Denver, one that's working in, Bro in uh, Boulder, um, Broomfield's a really great area because it's about 15 minutes, 20 minutes from both. Um, you're looking at about a population of 72,000 median household median uh, home price right around 620,000. So it's, it's a pretty great area, um, very family friendly, a lot of parks, a lot of trails, a lot of great shopping. You've got the premium outlets that are close by, the orchard uh, outlets or the orchard shopping center. You also have Flatirons Mall, there's a ton of restaurants. So Broomfield is definitely a city that is worth taking a look at. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my five favorite neighborhoods in the Broomfield area. So. Let's get started. All right, so the first neighborhood I'm gonna go over is called Redleaf. And this one's over kind of at 136th and Sheridan. Um, it's a nice home, a lot of uh, nice single family homes, condos in this neighborhood. Looking at probably starting in the mid fives, get into the 900s pretty quickly in this neighborhood. But um, yeah, it's a nice, quiet neighborhood. Um, it does back to some uh, open space facing west. So if you have one of those homes um, on the west side of the neighborhood, you could have some pretty spectacular mountain views. Um, a lot of nice, big, mature trees. You can see the homes look look really nice. It was, they were built kind of in the early 2000s. So still, you know, all within 20 years old. So very nice neighborhood. Definitely quiet, family oriented, close to some nice schools. Um, close to the park, Broomfield Commons Park. So um, Red Leaf is the first neighborhood here that, you know, is one of the top five neighborhoods in Broomfield. So I think one of the big draws to Red Leaf, the Red Leaf neighborhood is going to be its proximity to the Broomfield Commons Park, which is roughly a 300 acre park um, over here now. So you can see it's absolutely massive. I'm not gonna walk the whole park cause I don't have the lung capacity to do that. But it's it's just a beautiful park. It's absolutely, absolutely huge. Um, come by any time, you'll see a bunch of people playing soccer. I mean, I'm here on just a Tuesday afternoon. There's a lot of people out here playing soccer right now. Volleyball, there's, you know, over here, you can kind of see a nice big dog park. I guess you can't really see it, but there is a dog park over there. So I think this is a, a really big draw to Red Leaf is literally the neighborhood is, is right there. So depending on where you're at, if you're on the west side of the neighborhood, um, super easy access to this park. So that's definitely a, a huge uh, selling point for Red Leaf. All right, the next neighborhood I'm gonna go over is the Broadlands. Uh, Broadlands, beautiful neighborhood, huge neighborhood, about uh, 2,500 homes about 6,700 residents. You're gonna have a nice combination of condos and single family homes. Um, condos, you can maybe get into in the mid 
mid fours or single family homes could go all the way up to 1.8 million. So pretty wide price range um, for a lot of different potential buyers, um, which is great. There's also a clubhouse with a pool. There's an elementary school in the neighborhood. Um, location wise, it's right over 144th and Lowell. Um, so there's a lot of restaurants, grocery stores around, which is really nice. Um, I think one of the big draws, what it's most well known for is, um, you know, the golf course that's kind of back here. So, um, right on the Broadlands golf course, 18 hole golf course. Um, it did claim my seven iron a couple, a couple months ago, which is a bit of a sensitive subject. Um, but yeah, being right on the golf course, if you're a golf, um, if you're a golfer, as you can see, there's just a ton of homes available directly on the course. So, um, the Brawlin's definitely a popular, popular neighborhood. So I'll take you guys around, take a look at some of these homes. All right, so I'm over here in the Broadlands neighborhood now. Um, you can kind of see there's a, you know, it's got the clubhouse over there. You got not many people swimming today because it is December, so uh, pool is closed. Nice uh, basketball court over there. Um, you can see it's just, you know, a lot of nice big trees in this neighborhood. Classic, um, you know, traditional home styles. So it's pretty cool. Um, kind of check out some of these houses. Didn't get the best angle the first time, but that's why I'm an amateur YouTuber. Um, so yeah, you can just kind of see, it's got a great feel, great neighborhood, nice and quiet. Um, yeah, great variety of homes. So Broadland's definitely worth checking out. The next neighborhood that I'm at with you guys is called McKay Landing. And this is a popular neighborhood for a lot of reasons. I mean, one, the, the homes are absolutely beautiful. Um, there's a ton of empty space or open space around, ton of parks. Um, nice wide roads, big trees, it's nice and quiet. Um, one of the big reasons why though is that it is nice and close to McKay Lake, which is a public lake um, by Broomfield. And it's, it's just a huge lake, um, it's a couple miles around the lake, very popular during spring, summer, fall season. Um, it's also a new middle school over here. So over here, you're gonna have a nice combination of condos, and single family homes. Uh, condos, once again, maybe get into in the mid high fours. Um, your single family homes can definitely get into the million dollar range pretty quickly. So, but I mean, it's just beautiful neighborhood. I mean, it, it just, it feels like home here. So I think it's definitely a neighborhood that's worth checking out. Um, so I'll, I'll show you guys some of the parks they have around here next. I'm over here at McKay Lake Nature Play Area. And this is the type of park that makes me want to be a kid again. Um, there's a lot of things that make me want to be a kid again, but this park's definitely one of them. Um, you can see there's just a ton of cool, like, climbing areas, net walls, um, bridges. I don't, I don't know if it's a net wall. I don't, I don't know. I'm just making things up. But it's just really cool concrete slides. Um, yeah, I'll kind of show you guys some of the stuff here. There's also a bike park over there, so we'll go check out the bike park. But... It's just a really cool, unique park that you just don't see very many places. All right, the next neighborhood I'm gonna go over is Anthem. And Anthem is basically the northeast corner of Broomfield. And it's basically off of Highway 7 in Lowell, or pretty close to I-25. And it is absolutely gigantic. This neighborhood, can't tell from this video, but is gigantic. It's It's got something like 8,300 homes, uh, about 22,000 residents. I'll probably do a separate video at some point just on Anthem, but it basically consists of uh, three neighborhoods within one. So I'm gonna cheat and count it all as one. Um, the, the first one is Anthem Highlands. And that's the like original, you know, Anthem. Um, that's where a majority of people live. Um, the homes in Anthem, 
they're anywhere from like 15 years old to they're still building brand new construction. Um, Anthem Highlands, you're going to be looking at anywhere from high sixes to probably around 1.2 million purchase price. Um, the next one is Anthem Ranch, and that's the active living section of Anthem. So over 55, has its own clubhouse, um, all ranches, um, like most active living communities are. Um, and those ones are also right in the 600s to probably around 1.4 is kind of where we've seen the high point. And what I'm in right now is called Anthem Reserve. So this is the newest section of Anthem. It just opened a couple of years ago, and this is the high-end section of Anthem. It's kind of up on the hill. Um, there's some homes that have just panoramic mountain views. Um, you're looking at a starting price of about 1.2 to do a build here. High-end, you could get into the, the low twos pretty quickly over here. Um, but Anthem Reserve is kind of the new section you can see. Um, all custom, so all the homes are going to be totally different. Um, you can see that there is some new construction happening back there. So um, those are the three main sections of Anthem. One of the big draws to Anthem is definitely the amount of open space, the amount of parks that they have here. Um, they've got about 22 different parks and about 48 miles of trails um, for you know running, walking, biking. So if you're into the outdoors, this is definitely an amazing community for you. Along with that, they have two different clubhouses. They have one for the Anthem Ranch, um, that's the active living, and then the other one is for the highlands and reserve areas. So um, that's definitely big. Along with that, they have a couple different schools. They have Prospect Ridge here, um, so that's definitely great. So if you're looking for a place that's nice uh, neighborhood feel, family oriented, Anthem is definitely, definitely needs to be on your list. All right, I did save the best for last, and that would be Spruce Meadows, which is located at Zunai Street and Spruce Meadows Drive. So named after the neighborhood to make it easy. But this is the neighborhood that I believe dreams are made of. This neighborhood is just unbelievable. There's uh, 73 homes on about 180 acres. So all the homes sit on roughly about two acres of land. So they're all just absolutely beautiful. Everything is custom built. Um, there's some that are horse properties. You're allowed to have um, outbuildings on it. So. Really, the possibilities are endless. It's like you get your own great piece of land, great privacy. Um, these homes, I mean, you're probably looking at in the low end, low two millions, high end, closer to six, seven, this white one behind me, probably six, seven million dollar home. So Spruce Meadows is the neighborhood that you go to. If you're looking for the best of the best, you want the nicest home, nicest neighborhood, that's this one spruce meadows so absolutely beautiful um get some great views so kind of try and show you guys don't get too dizzy so some nice mountain views back there so um this is definitely i think would be my preferred neighborhood if i could live anywhere it would probably be spruce meadows so definitely worth checking out <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully you learned something new about the city of Broomfield and some of the amazing neighborhoods it has to offer. Um, if you haven't had a chance yet, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube page to learn about more amazing neighborhoods and cities um, in and around Denver. Um, if you have any questions about any of these uh, neighborhoods or Broomfield or just real estate in general, give me a call, shoot me an email. We'll definitely love to chat with you more about real estate. Um, so with that being said, Merry Christmas if you're watching this around Christmas time. Um, go Broncos. Hopefully we can pull off two wins in a row. Bearded Realtor, signing off.